From my observation, ever since childhood, humanity just has this undying curiosity to put things in their mouths. And this has definitely led to some amazing, delicious discoveries. Other times, though, uh... Well, we can't all be winners. But that is why I have no doubt that what we consider food these days is mind-blowing. Like, I'm not talking about this little dot of foam topped with gold specks that cost $10,000 as an entree. I'm talking about food or edible things that was probably discovered by accident via aliens or pure survival, because otherwise, why would anyone try to eat this? Like, imagine you're walking in the forest one day and this giant spike ball almost lands on your head, cracks open, and there's this foul stench coming from it. Would your first instinct be, Ugh, it's disgusting looking. Hmm, I wonder what it tastes like. Well, apparently someone did, and that is why durian is so popular in Asia. Durian is one of those foods that is definitely of an acquired taste. Either you love it or you don't. My dad loves it, my sister and mom don't. I am somehow in the middle, I'm not sure how that works. Like, I think it tastes fine and good, but I can also agree with the other side that it does smell like hot garbage soaked in gasoline. The meat's also not the most aesthetically pleasing thing to look at either. Whenever my dad buys some and brings it home, it's very obvious. Poisonous food is also really fascinating to me. Like before we had all of this science to tell us what was safe and what wasn't, how did people determine things before? It's not like they could just go on their phone and check Reddit. So is it like trial and error? Delectable tea or deadly poison? What if this food taster guy just died eating that mushroom only because he was deathly allergic? Or that mushrooms are truly disgusting and should be avoided at all costs. All I know is that I definitely do not want to have that guy's job. Yeah, so the last guy died eating this thing, but uh, we need to rule out allergies as the cause. Now eat this plant or you don't get paid. What I find even more fascinating is that there are some foods out there that can't be eaten unless through certain preparations. Popular example of this would be pufferfish sashimi or fugu. Let's see, how should I describe this? Uh, a specially trained chef needs to cut this fish in a certain way so that when you eat its flesh, you don't end up on a one-way trip to the river Styx. Well, that sucks. Okay, well, attempt number 20. But there is another food out there that is just absolutely insane. The most mind-blowing out of all the mind-blowing foods I can think of is basically rotten shark. In Iceland, there is a delicacy known as hakau. I really tried to pronounce it, I'm sorry. Oftentimes, the fishermen would accidentally catch these massive Greenland sharks. And naturally, just like me when I see a big fish at the aquarium, I'm sure we all arrived at the same thought. Grilled or steamed? I mean, after all, it would be a huge waste of all that meat. But the thing about Greenland sharks is that their meat is super toxic. So the way they get the toxins out and make the meat safe to eat is by letting it hang out in a cellar to rot for six months. Okay, well actually, according to this website, it ferments for six weeks first and then left out to dry for six months. And that's all there is to it. I'm more curious as to how versus the why. Like how the heck did they stumble upon this fun little idea? How did they figure out that letting it rot makes it safe? But more specifically, how did they figure out the time needed because apparently a consumption of fresh Greenland shark meat or meat that wasn't cured long enough, even the smallest amount causes severe illness, blindness, and even death. Imagine those poor unfortunate souls that came to that conclusion. Oh, yeah, it needs to sit out longer. Meh. Also, I forgot to mention that the meat is dried because otherwise the texture is mushy. Hmm. Okay, so to recap, deadly shark meat needs to ferment for six weeks to remove poison. So it'll smell really bad. Then needs to dry for half a year in order to make the texture more pleasant than mushy? I don't know. After seeing all that it requires and all the tragedies that probably happened along the way, at some point early on, I would think, you know, maybe we just shouldn't try to eat this at all. But no. Even in the face of terrible illness and death, it was by sheer force of will that humanity will find a way to eat this thing. Hashtag worth it. Is it though? Well, as one of the healthiest foods to come from Iceland, 
apparently yes. It's just crazy though, like from stinky deadly meat to stinky but healthy meat. All because they let it rot for a certain amount of time. Like what? That's just crazy. Anyways, does this mean that I should try to stir fry some beetles I found in my backyard with peanut butter? No. Does the fact that this fruit has been molding for several weeks mean it's unsafe to eat? Or am I onto something amazing? Most likely a trip to the hospital. The point is, I'm probably not brave enough to try to discover some new method of making food. Heck, most I've ever contributed to the culinary world was mixing sriracha and vanilla ice cream. It wasn't that bad. But now that we are in the holiday season, maybe we should take some time to appreciate those that came before us, that risked their lives. Not just the scientists, but let us also be thankful to all those nameless Joe Schmoes that accidentally drank curdled milk and other spoiled stuff that would eventually give us the things we enjoy today like pizza, bread, kimchi, and rotten fish. To all those brave souls who had complete disregard for the potentially hazardous outcomes, we thank you. What is the weirdest food you've ever eaten? Put it down in the comments below. Yeah, I know there are some pretty gross stuff out there. Like people, I think at some point were eating placentas and poop and, and I was just like, no, I'm not putting that in the video. <laughs> That's disgusting. But anyway, surprise guys, what? Is this a video? Even though I said I was gonna be working on a really big project, yeah, that was a really bad idea, so. Psych! Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I actually had a lot of fun making this one. It was just so random. It was just like food, am I right? So, uh, that'll be it for this video. Thank you again so much for watching. Happy holidays, everyone. Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and stay young.